click the bell icon to get latest videos from ekida hello friends in the previous lecture we have discussed about uh, the enzyme catalyst as well as we have also discussed about the characteristic of the enzyme catalyst as well as we have also discussed about that how they are working and how they are basically specific in their nature but now in this topic we are going to discuss about the mechanism of the enzyme catalyst and let us understand that how basically the reaction occurs and how basically the product has been formed so now let us understand this one So as we have discussed earlier also that is uh, whenever an enzyme is been uh, reacted with or it has been combined with that of a substrate obviously it will form a complex and those enzymes are nothing but they are basically high molecular mass uh, protein and uh, they are basically having a complex structure and obviously because of that basically they have multiple sites or basically you could say multiple active sites on which the substrate could attach and uh, because of a particular enzyme is highly specific in nature obviously it will show a specific uh, uh, reaction and that is what uh, the product could be obtained so in this case basically we are going to discuss about basically how the reaction occurs so for example that is uh, if we consider e to be known as the enzyme or a particular enzyme and uh, obviously that is uh, it is very much specific in nature so obviously it will allow this substrate to get attached to it and the enzyme is the one which consists of uh, an active site so in this case basically the enzyme it will uh, react or it will bind with that of uh, the substrate and so as to form a basically a complex which is nothing but it could be represented by es so this is the complex that it forms and because of which uh, the complex uh, is been formed uh, and that is how basically the reaction will occur and during this reaction basically we could get a particular product along with the uh, catalyst uh, in this case the, the enzyme is basically it is retrieved so this is the main uh, thing that we needed that is the product but since we are uh, discussing about the mechanism of the enzyme catalyst so we are going to discuss that basically how we see the complex are been formed so let me give an example suppose uh, that we have an enzyme which is of a particular shape like this way suppose suppose this is a particular shape that an enzyme has And suppose if uh, a particular substrate which should also have a kind of a shape that could uh, fit in it so that uh, suppose if we are considering this to be the substrate so now this is the enzyme and this is a substrate now they will get locked with each other so as to form a complex which is basically which will form this to be the substrate and this is the enzyme so this is the complex that is been formed and after the formation of this uh, that is the uh, formation of this complex obviously the product and the enzyme would be formed so in this case basically the substrate will easily react with the, the enzyme and since it is attached to the surface or since it is attached to the active site of the enzyme obviously the reaction will occur and uh, the formation of product would be formed along with that of the uh, evolution of or we could say that uh, the enzyme is been retrieved after the reaction gets over so this is basically and uh, specificity of this reaction that it allows only those substrate which get locked in it so that is how basically the uh, enzyme works and uh, or the enzyme catalyst it works so this was one of a uh, example that i was discussing about so there are various other shapes that it could take and depending on the enzyme side depending on the substrate to which basically they both attach with each other or they both bind with each other so as to give a particular specific product and as we have discussed earlier also in our, uh, that is topic that is how basically amylase is very much specific in nature because the amylase will allow the starch molecules to get bind on it and that is what uh, a product that is glucose is been for but those amylase uh, will not allow basically cellulose to get attached on it or to bind on it and that is what uh, we can't get glucose or we can't get a desired product after it so that is what uh, the mechanism of catalyst that i was discussing about but as i have mentioned about uh, the specificity so let me discuss about the few examples also that uh, so as we could understand basically how basically enzymes are basically very much specific in their nature suppose if we have uh, that is nitrogen along with that suppose if we have to react it with hydrogen so as to form that is uh, nh3 so this reaction can be possible uh, that is in Haber's process also and while using different kind of catalyst also we could prepare but uh, in case of using uh, biological catalyst like uh, enzymes we use that is nitrogenase so in this case basically the enzyme that we take is basically nitrogenase so we have, we have to that is a uh, balance the reaction so in this case basically let me balance it by 
this thing so in this case basically the nitrogenase is very much uh, specific in the nature and that is how basically the ammonia molecule is been formed whenever the gaseous that is uh, n2 is, which is of a gaseous phase even uh, h2 is of gaseous phase and this is how basically uh, the ammonia can be formed and uh, now let us discuss about the other reactions also so that let me discuss about the other reactions like suppose carbon dioxide so whenever the carbon dioxide is been reacted with water and this reaction takes place in our body where basically uh, the consumed carbon dioxide it reacts with h2 so as to form that is bicarbonate and that is basically hco3 along with that of uh, that is h plus but this reaction doesn't take place by its own obviously because it takes place in our body and we have that is uh, various other enzymes also in our body so in this case basically uh, the enzyme plays a very vital role and uh, in this case if i could say that is carbonic that is uh, anhydrase is a catalyst that plays a very vital role in conversion of uh, that is uh, hydrolysis of carbon dioxide so as to form that is bicarbonate that is hco3 minus so this were the two reactions that i was discussing about and that's it so this is what uh, the mechanism of the enzyme catalyst is so that's it friend uh, that is what i want to discuss about so thank you friends for watching this video i hope you have understood this video very clearly and i hope you'll share this video with the friends so till then don't forget to subscribe to channel. thank you so much